Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm here at Marrickville, which is where we're going to start our massive tunnelling task on the City and South West project. I'm with Terry Sleeman, who's the project director of that terrific tunnelling task, and behind us is Nancy, the first of five tunnel boring machines that will build these tunnels from Marrickville all the way through to Chatswood. So Terry, can you just give us some of the vital statistics, uh, especially of Nancy, which is about to start her journey? Yeah, good morning, Tom. Um, firstly, it's a huge milestone today for the tunnelling team to start uh, Nancy on her journey. She's one of five tunnelling machines that have been purpose-built for this job. Nancy is over 150 metres long, and her cutter shield weighs in excess of 120 tonnes. How fast do you think something like uh, a tunnel boring machine can travel at? Mate, we're hoping Nancy, as well as her partners, will be doing about 120 metres a week. Obviously, tunnel boring machines are really exciting things, especially for people like you and me. But to get behind the wheel of one of those things, what sort of qualifications would you actually need? Mate, many, many hours and years of experience. You know, Nancy and other TBMs will be a purpose-built to cut Sydney sandstone. Basically, been 23 container loads of parts used to build Nancy. When it's in operation, how many people would actually be on the tunnel boring machine? There's about 15 people on the TBM, as well as their, the maintenance crews and bull gangs, as we call them, mm -hmm. that sit beyond the TBM, actually supporting the machine. The tunnel boring machine is going to create the tunnels. What happens when it comes into the station areas where we've got our stations identified? What happens there? Basically, the, the TBM pushes through the final cut, traverses through the station, thereby it starts its journey on again to okay. the next station. So the, the actual tunnels for this project, 15 and a half kilometres long each, how long are the tunnel boring machines? Mate, they're approximately 150 metres long, basically two air buses in line. We've talked about the cutter head, and that's at the front, and it's uh, going through the sandstone. Yep. And then that rock, what happens to that rock? How does it actually get out of the tunnel? So basically the cutter head munches away at the rock, or grinds away at the rock. There is a conveyor which really takes the rock from the front of the machine, to the back of the machine and therefore from the back of the machine there's trucks that take it out for ultimate cartage away from the site. So Terry, you're a man of action and it's been great talking to you but we've probably done enough of that. How about you get down there and let it rip, huh? Thanks Tom, okay. let's do it.